All right, guys, the previous time I showed you a way to replicate Far From Week's thumbnails, but there was something that a bunch of you pointed out that stuck in my head, how Far From Week achieves this painted looking style on them, which makes them so unique and stand out from the crowd, driving thousands of views. Today, I finally found a way to achieve it also to a big extent, with the help of AI. So, without further ado, let's dive into it. Let's say we wanna make Kratos holding a note like my thumbnail here. First, we need a base model. For that purpose, we will go to this site called Ideogram, and in the prompt bar, just copy and paste the prompt I have used here. From the filters, choose the illustration one, as it works better. Set the aspect ratio to 16.9 and hit generate. Keep in mind that the closer the character resembles Kratos' figure, the better results we will get in the next step. So, from the generated ones, choose the one you like and download it. I will go with this one for now. The next step is to go to this site called Scenario AI and sign in for free with an email. After you do that, you will be greeted with this page. Here, move your cursor to the logo in the left top corner and from the categories below, choose Models. A lot of available models will appear from which you need to scroll down and select the one called Dark Inked Characters. If you can't find it here, just search for it in the search. After you find it, click on it and press the Generate with this model button. With the model ready to use, copy and paste the prompt I have here. Then scroll down a bit and press the negative prompt button as well. For this step, I will include the negative prompt in my video description because it is lengthy. Do not skip this part, as the negative prompt in Scenario AI is of significant importance. So, after you paste the negative prompt as well, press the reference image button and upload the base model we generated earlier from Ideogram. After you upload it, click the mode options here and choose Control Net. After you do that, it should set the value to character. From the influence below, set the value to 60 and the sampling steps to 45. Then scroll up, hit generate, and wait for the process to complete. I will now see you when the results are ready. Here we are now with the results, and as you can see, the second image looks amazing. To download it, just right-click and select the Save Image As option. Now there's a chance that both of these images will look bad, and for that reason, you will need to regenerate a couple of times for perfect results. Now, the process to create the other two images I showed you in the beginning is exactly the same, with the same values and negative prompts. The only thing that changes is the ideogram generation prompt and the scenario generation prompt. So, instead of repeating the process, I will just write the prompts here for any of you who are interested in creating something similar. As an AI specialist, I'm teaching things that will help you make money and stay ahead of the competition. So, if you learned something valuable today, subscribe to my channel to acquire even more new skills. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.